Okay, so now we're looking at uh, multi-step equations with variables on both sides. So in order to solve multi-step equations, you need to have mastered uh, two-step equations. So if you haven't mastered two-step equations, please see my video on solving two-step equations. All right. So with these multi-step equations, um, we're going to do three examples and they're going to increase with difficulty. So when you're solving multi-step equations um, with variables on both sides, your goal is to get uh, your variables or combine your like terms by using inverse operations. All right. So if we look at the first one here, my like terms are 5x and 3x and negative 2 and negative 4. I like to combine uh, the variables first or the terms with variables first and move them to the left hand side. It's just easier uh, to look at and easier to solve because it looks more like a regular or basic two-step equation when you do that. All right. So if I want to combine a 5x and a 3x, this is a positive 3x. So my inverse would be to subtract 3x from both sides. Okay. It's going to cancel out on my left hand side. I'm bringing down this negative 4 because I did not use it. Remember, minus and negative are the same, so bringing down that negative 4. And then I'm combining 5x minus 3x. That gives me 2x, and I'm bringing down this 2 because I did not use it, or the negative 2. So now this just looks like a basic two step equation. So let's solve it using the inverse operations. So subtracting, so I'm adding that 2, bring down my 2x, negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. I'm left with the one-step equation. So I'm dividing both sides by 2 to get the x by itself. x equals negative 2 divided by 2. That gives me negative 1. All right. So now let's look at this second problem here. A little more difficult because I have parentheses. So now whenever you see parentheses and you want to solve an equation, always think distributive property. All right, so parentheses, distributive property. So the first thing I want to do, I want to distribute this 3 through by multiplying everything on the inside. But since I'm not using this 2k minus 5 yet, I'm just going to bring it down. And multiply 3 times 1, that's 3. 3 times negative 2k will give me a negative 6k. So now this problem looks very similar to that first problem. And my, so I want to combine my like terms using inverse operations. 2k and negative 6k. If I want to combine these two, since this is a minus or negative 6k, I'm going to add 6k. Of course, if that were plus, I would subtract 6k. Bring down your 3. It cancels out. And I'm left with 2k plus 6k. And that gives me 8k. And I want to space this out a little more. Um, 8k minus 5 equals 3. So I brought my 3 down. 2k plus 6k is 8k bring down that negative 5. So again, it looks like that basic uh, two-step equation. So I'm going to add 5 to both sides. 8k equals 3 plus 5, which is 8, and then I divide through by 8. k equals 8 divided by 8, which is negative 1. All right. So now we have a problem here with uh, parentheses on both sides. And as you recall, in problem two, whenever you see parentheses and you're solving equations, you always want to think distributive property. So that is what I'm going to do first. Right here, I have a minus x plus 3. Whenever you don't see a number in front of the parentheses, that is an understood 1. So I'm going to distribute through a negative 1 or multiply through a negative 1. Bringing down this 5, negative 1 times x is negative x, negative 1 times 3 is a negative 3. 
And keep in mind that when you're multiplying anything by negative 1, you're really just changing the sign of it, okay? If that were a minus 3, that would be plus 3. So you're just changing that sign. All right, on this side, I want to get rid of my parentheses. So I'm going to bring down this negative 1. But I want to multiply this 2 through. So that's going to be 2 times x. Uh, and that's going to give me a positive 2x. 2 times negative 3. That gives me a negative 6. All right, so remember, if the number is negative, you're going to put minus. If your term is positive, you're going to put plus. So now, when I look at this problem, I see that I have like terms on the same side. 5 and negative 3 are like terms because they're both constants. They don't have variables attached to them. So I'm going to combine them. But before I do that, I want to bring down this negative x. All right, because I'm not using it yet. So I'm just going to bring it down. But then I'm going to combine 5 minus 3. That gives me a positive 2. So now when you're combining like terms on the same side, use the signs that you're given in front. So that's a positive 5. This is a negative 3. You can look at this as 5 minus 3 or 5 plus negative 3. Same thing, you're going to get a positive 2, so I put plus 2. All right, bring down my equal sign. On this side, again, my like terms are both these constants here because they don't have uh, the variable attached. So this is negative 1 minus 6. So I'm using the sign in front. So negative 1 minus 6 is a negative 7. But I want to bring down that 2 first. So 2x minus 7. And I put my, my variables first because it's just easier um, to look at, I think. It's easier to solve that way. Um, but of course, you can write this as negative 7 plus 2x. It doesn't matter as long as you have the correct terms, all right? So now this looks similar to uh, our first problem. So I want to combine my like terms here. I have a negative x and a positive 2x. So I could solve this several ways. I could add x to both sides or I could um, subtract 2x from both sides. Normally, I would like to move my um, variables to the left. However, in this case, I'm going to add x to both sides. And I'm doing that because I want to um, keep everything positive. All right. Um, you don't have to, but it's just easier to work with positive numbers. So when you're looking at combining your like terms, look and see uh, which um, result will give me a positive number because that gives you less room for error. All right. So I'm adding that x. Bring down this 2. 2x plus x gives me 3x. That way I don't have to deal with any negative um, variables or terms at this point. So left with my basic two-step equation at 7. 2 plus 7 gives me 9. Bring down that 3x. And of course we divide by 3. And my x is 3. All right, so we've solved that um, long multi-step equation with variables on both sides.